Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest here in N37. Uh, it's a medium level problem. Uh, like even in yesterday's bi-weekly contest, we got three medium level problems. And today also, uh, instead of hard, we get the last problem is also medium. Yeah, but the accuracy is on the lower side. Okay, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is smallest missing non-negative integer after operations. Okay, so you are given a zero indexed integer array nums and a value integer value okay now in one operation you can add or subtract value from any element of nums okay for example if your array is 1 2 3 and value is 2 so you can choose to subtract value from nums of 0 that will make the array as minus 1 2 and 3 okay now the mex that is minimum excluded of an array is the smallest missing non-negative integer Okay, for example, the max of minus 1, 2, and 3 is 0 because this is the smallest missing non negative integer. Okay, while the max of this is so 0 is there, 1 is there, so obviously 2 is the answer. Okay, return the maximum max of number of nums after applying the mentioned operations any number of times. Okay, this is what the problem is asking you to do. Let me take this example. So, this is my array. Okay, uh, the value is 5. Okay, so the, the main thing here is what what are the possible answers 0 1 2 dot 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 right so all I need to do is I need to see whether is this element present okay like one by one check whether the current element suppose the current element is 0 so is 0 present in your array or not if it is not present then is it possible that I convert any of the numbers in my array to 0 now if that is possible so that means 0 can be obtained okay now I move to 1 okay i move to one i do the same thing for it okay i do the same thing for it so this is the example now you can the explanation says that one can achieve this result by applying the following operation so add value to nums of one so what does this becomes you add it twice so this becomes minus 10 and you add five twice so this becomes zero so yes i have got zero okay now i need one so subtract value from nums of two okay once okay now one is already present see zero you have got one was already present i need to search for two so pick this element and subtract five so you get two two is also two is also obtained now can i obtain three yes you can do that okay yes you can do that. how you can do that pick this number 13 okay pick this number 13 and subtract five twice so you get three there is other way to obtain it you can pick eight as well and subtract five from it okay and then you'll get three so you got zero you got one you got two you got three let's search for four so this i have exhausted okay uh four can it be obtained so you see and four will not be obtained okay so that means the minimum the min uh, the, the minimum uh, non-negative integer that is missing in this array is four right that is four now similarly we have this example so uh, can I obtain 0? Yes, I can obtain. Subtract 7 from this. Okay. Um, can I obtain 1? Yes, 1 is already there. Can I obtain 2? So let's see. Uh, no, 2 cannot be obtained, right? So 2 is your answer. That is the minimum missing non-negative integer. Okay. So yeah, that is the problem. Now approach, I've already told you. The approach would be keep on searching for each and every number and see whether you can convert any existing number to that number or not. Now the trick is how do you convert or how do you check? whether a particular number is present in the area or not right so just see one thing okay let me take a basic example okay so the value here is 5 right now let's pick up a number 13 okay let's pick up a number 13 now if i add if i add value in it i get 18 even again if i add i get 23 then i get 28 and so on now if i subtract what do i get i get 8 if I again subtract, I get 3. If I again subtract, what do I get? I get minus 2 and so on. So that means if I pick a number, if I pick this number, so either I can subtract 5 any number of times, I can add 5 any number of times. Now, is there something common between all these things? Okay, is there something common? So my value is 5. If you take remainder of this guy from 5, what do you get? You get 3, right? Similarly, if you find the remainder of this number, when you divide it by value, that is 5, you get 5. Uh, sorry remainder is three here also you get 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 three now what about minus two if you divide minus two by five what do you get 
So what is the definition of remainder? What is the definition of remainder? If, if that is not clear, I'll just let you know. So minus 2 is something that I want to divide, right? So what is the uh, maximum? What is the maximum multiple of 5 that is less than or equal to minus 2? Right? What is the maximum multiple of 5 that is less than or equal to minus 2? So that will be obviously minus 5. Right? This is the largest number which is less than or equal to minus 2. This is the definition, right? Like for example, if you say 18, if you want to divide it by 5. So what do you do? You find the uh, largest multiple of 5 which is less than or equal to 18. So that is 15. So you do 18 minus 15, that is the remainder. So similarly, if I talk about minus 2, what is the largest number that is less than or equal to minus 2? That is minus 5. Right? So what do you do? You do minus 2 minus minus 5 and hence the remainder is 3. Simple. Right? So here also the remainder is 3. So what I mean to say is, what I mean to say is, numbers are related to each other if the remainder is same. Okay? So if the remainder is same, right? So all the numbers which have same remainder, let me let me form groups. So all the numbers which have remainders x, all the numbers which have remainder y when you divide it by value, okay? They they basically they basically form a group. Now what will what I'll do? I'll do something like this. I'll search for zero. Okay, first what I'll do, I'll create set of these numbers. So all the numbers having remainder zero will fall in one group. All the numbers having remainder one will fall in another group and so on. I'll form the groups. Why I'm forming the groups? Just just see. Now I want to search for zero. I want to search for zero. Now I'm searching for zero. So a number zero will be obtained by a number. Okay. So suppose you want to search for zero. So you, you take the remainder of uh, you, you take the remainder when you divide this number zero by value. Suppose you get x. Obviously, in this case, it is zero. It is x. Now, if I have any other number in my group whose remainder when divided by value is also x, that means that number can be con converted to zero. Okay. I am searching for zero. I find the remainder when I divide zero by value. Suppose that is x. In this case, it is zero. Obviously, it is visible. But I'm talking about a random value, right? Now, if I have any value which is which also has a remainder x, then that number can be converted to zero. Simple. So yes, I can form zero. Now I search for one. Now I find what is the remainder I get when I divide one by value. So I see that, okay, do I have any number in my set, in my, in my, in my, the sample set whose remainder is y when divided by value. Okay. So th this is how we approach. Now one more thing here, what we did, we converted a number whose remainder was x. We converted a number to zero. Now that number, I'll reduce the count. So initially, if there were five numbers with remainder zero, so once I have consumed one number, now there will be only four numbers will remainder zero, right? Simple stuff. You cannot use one number multiple times, right? You can convert one number to only one resultant number, right? One final number, right? So this is the approach. Now if I show you the code, it's very, very easy. I've taken a map. I've taken this map to keep a track that, okay, this is my remainder and these are the numbers. Or, sorry, these are the count of numbers which have remainder x. These are the count of numbers which have remainder y. I don't need the exact number. I just need the count of numbers. So just see what I've done. Now, what is the remainder? Okay. So this, this is to handle negative numbers, nums of i mod value plus value divide mod value. You can skip it as well, but just for clarity, I did that. So this is my remainder. Now, in your map, if there is already this type of remainder present, already this key is present, okay, then just add one or else take a default value as zero and add one. This is just Java syntax. No need to worry about this. I just mean to say increment the count um, for this particular remainder, right? Or if it is not present, add it, right? Now my answer equals to zero. I run an infinite loop, okay? Now whatever, no. At, at a particular point of time, whichever answer I'll not be able to form, I'll just return it. Now what I'm doing, what is the current remainder? So I find with, for which, which remainder I need to search. Answer mod value. This is I want to search. Okay. So I check. Is my map containing this particular remainder? Okay. Yes, it is containing. So decrement the count. Decrement the count. Because now I'll consume one of those numbers. After I've consumed it, I check that have I consumed all the numbers from my map for this particular remainder? If yes, remove that key. Right, remove that key from the map. Okay. 
Now else if if this remainder was not present, right? If this remainder was not present, so you return answer because this is the smallest positive number, non-negative number, for which you are not able to find a number which can be converted to this, right? So yeah, this is the approach. Um, the main logic here was this this set of numbers that you get when you take the remainder, right? So I hope you learn something new from this video. Uh, it should have been sort of fruitful. So. Yeah, I hope you like the video. So do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, in case of any queries, mention that into the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.